the only true God of the Bible exists as one person without beginning and without end. The God of the Bible is the perfect indivisible one. There is no other oneness like the oneness of God in the Bible. For eternity, time without beginning and without end, the God of the Bible is one person and God exists as one person. El Elyon is the expression used for the Most High God. He is the God, the source and father of all, including the Trinity. The Most High God, or the highest God, is the primary level spirit person existing without beginning and without end, beyond the Trinity, which is a time-bound manifestation or theophany of God. The highest God is invisible and no creature can see him. But the Trinity persons are seen or heard or experienced by man. Hence, the right understanding of the Trinity manifestation is to be subjected to uh, many factors such as that God is uh, one infinite super person, that he is a spirit with the attributes of omnipresence, omnipotence, etc. This God in his manifestations recorded in the Bible has established his own method of himself manifesting in different names, various kinds of theophanies, etc. Many of the theophanies appeared and then vanished after fulfilling the particular mission. Such could be the destiny of even the Trinity manifestation, but Jesus it shall be the same as today, today, and tomorrow. The Trinity is real for this eternity or the Bible age. This view is legitimate within the scope of the manifestation scheme of the Almighty God for the creation redemption mechanism framework in which God planned Himself to be incarnated. There is only one God in the entire Bible. The Bible never speaks about three gods. And the Christians never believe in three gods. The Christian faith is second to none in its monotheistic commitments. The Bible is consistent in its claim of monotheism and has the most prolonged history of opposing polytheism more than any other belief system. The oneness of God is a foundational doctrine in the Bible. And Jesus has affirmed the pure monotheism of the Old Testament in many places in the Bible. Especially in uh, Mark chapter 12, starting from verse 28, we can see that. Now the core message is very simple. There is only one God. And he is unlike his creation, and he alone deserves our worship. And uh, the summary is that God by nature is one person. Trinity is only his contextual manifestation for the creation of this universe and uh, the redemption of mankind. And mathematics is the token manifestation of the nature of God. One God can manifest himself in infinite manifestations of himself. There is only one God. Likewise, the number one is the basic number. And all other numbers are mere revelations of that number running into infinite numbers. Similarly, the one God can reveal himself in the infinite varieties of himself, of his own persons, if he wants. The oneness of God is even infinitely superior in singularity to the oneness of the mathematical numerical one. And God speaks about his own oneness. Thus God is essentially homogeneous, undivided and indivisible according to the Bible. God does not consist of parts nor can he be broken down into various parts. God is one and the only one. 
Apart from him, there is no God. That there is but one God is furthermore taught. In various places, Deuteronomy, Isaiah 44, John 17, 1 Corinthians 8, 1 Timothy chapter 1. In all these places you can see many verses to prove from the Bible that God is one person. <coughs> and the God of the Bible said, I am that I am. Mathematically, God is eternally one with respect to his person and the essence of his revelation. God is one. God said, I am that I am. Hence, the three persons of the Trinity, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, are not three gods. Trinity is the self-manifestation of God. But as the scripture says, great is the manifestation, great is the mystery of the manifestation of his godliness. The spiritual things are spiritually discerned, and hence the materialist man cannot understand many of the most important things pertaining to the very nature and character of God. 